hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is joy if it's your first time here if it's your second time or you always click when you see me pop up thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my content so as you can see by the title today i'm gonna be doing five tips on how you can look expensive on a budget so i hope it's gonna be helpful and yeah let's get on with it so the first point is you're going to go to style because this is the first impression someone gets what they get to see for the first time i would say in style one should wear timeless pieces don't focus so much on designers i know in a world of um, where people want to be seen wearing the latest this or that i feel like not focusing so much on designer and wearing timeless pieces, pieces which can be worn year to year without depreciating in value. That is what you should be looking for. And when I say timeless pieces, it's not necessarily, you can also wear designer pieces which have designer names on them, but they do not have to have the logo because maybe with time, the brand is not going to be as known as such. And then you're going to be stuck with a really big logo of the brand, which just doesn't end up making sense another thing is be on the lookout for trends but i also must say this not all trends not all trends look good and they also end up depreciating in value for example what looked expensive in 1960 is definitely not going to look expensive now we've also seen it on the hipsters um, it was a fashion trend which was there in the 2000s or maybe before and people used to love it but with time people were like no this thing does not look good <laughs> so be on the lookout for trends but as i also go to the first point timeless trends which can be worn year to year and it also ends up saving you money as well another thing is invest in quality pieces which are versatile um you guys are going to agree with me this um even though we are speaking on doing things on a budget you can uh, invest in a versatile uh, quality piece for example a very quality slick dress but you can wear it let's say for a business meeting with a coat on for a wedding with some jewelry on and you can also wear it with with uh for a birthday depending on how you trick the accessories and all of that yeah so another point is wearing quiet luxury items I am not that type of person that can uh, go through the depths to get a luxury item. With time, I really came to appreciate quiet luxury items, despite the name or the brand. But I've realized in my country, there's this thing whereby people have realized that young girls or girls rather have passed for designer bags the suppliers are taking advantage of this and they go to uh, dh get or they thrift them and they sell them for a really expensive price they would rather get a bag from dh get for five thousand kenya shillings package it in a box and come and sell sixty thousand shillings that is not a designer bag in fact it's really Absurd. So I would say invest in quiet luxury pieces that can make you look good and can make you look expensive without you even trying. Having a Gucci bag does not equate to you being expensive. We have these uh, Christian Dior bags, the ones which are like, I mean, I've never liked those bags and I've never even been into pressure. There are so many duplicates of that bag. You can't even know who looks expensive or not and with time it just ends up looking very tacky and right now people are not wearing it anymore um, it was an in thing in trend in uh, the past year and right now people are not even focused on that bag anymore so this is what i'm saying if you are going to invest on a piece invest on a piece which is quality versatile and also wear timeless pieces another point guys is smell good i know people like to really look down upon this some people have are willing to invest more in how they look huh? but when it comes to how they smell they don't take into consideration you can see someone looking very good wearing very expensive things but when you come close you're like what is happening 
so guys i want to plug you and tell you this you do not have to wear expensive designers perfume for you to smell good number one if you're really into wearing designers and you want to attain that level so that you can buy designer perfume we have people who sell decanted perfumes and i'm gonna put a picture of um, a tiny bottle that you can have and you can also decant perfumes and also we have uh, like in kenya we have shops called top time they sell perfume as low as 100 kenya shillings you can imagine so uh, one does not have any excuse of not smelling good so i feel like smelling good is such a vital aspect and if you don't smell good it might depreciate your value no matter how good you look how expensive your outfit is Smelling good is such a vital aspect. You do not have to break your bank to buy the designer perfumes. As I said, there are websites that sell decanted perfumes. And I'm going to link some websites where you can get the decanted perfumes at. Another point is do very, very simple makeup. Just like as you see this look that I've done, it's such a simple look and I have not used a lot of product so do very simple makeup but first learn more about your features the type of makeup that goes with you and uh, if you cannot and if you're not a makeup person invest in skincare also skincare you can really look good you don't have to wear makeup all the time i'm also opting to do makeup make sure you invest in good makeup products because they just have that feeling of skin like and they just make you look uh, very natural do your nails short learn to do your own nails and uh, if you can't do your own nails if you go to get your nails done make sure you get nails which are shorter i feel like really long nails end up looking tacky especially if they have those these uh, multiple designs on them you can uh, opt for very neutral colors color red and um French nails. That's what I opted to get. Let me just show you. Uh, I also, I actually wanted them shorter than this, but you know, guys, nail techs. One thing about nail techs, they love doing longer nails. I don't know if they feel like you're wasting money if you're doing your nails shorter, but I would say the shorter the better, and it just makes you look elegant. The last point is invest in good hair. I don't know why people equate having good hair is equal to having a human hair wig but i'm here to tell you that, that that is not the case you can really look good with simple hairstyles just to take a look at jasmine tooks lupita nyongo and other celebrities who are just natural and they look good please don't fall into the pressure of having a wig just because you want to look expensive i also feel you can achieve this with also your natural hair i don't know guys if it's in your country but in my country people feel like being expensive is linked to having a human hair wig no it's not you can do very simple styles um you can do very neat simple styles braids very neat braids and still look expensive simplicity is the best one thing i would say you don't have to wear a wig which is has more than five bundles looking like you've kept a rat inside your head it just looks crazy and tacky do need simple hairstyles guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed watching this video kindly uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up kindly press the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and if you have more tips that you can share that can be helpful to uh, people i would really appreciate if you um Put them down below in the comment section and that's it guys and i'm gonna see you guys on my next youtube video